Hello friends in this video I will show you how to insert form data using Ajax query serialize method. It creates a text string in standard URL encoded notation. It can act on a jQuery object that has selected individual form controls like input tag, text area tag and select tag. Friends this is my simple table with name table form, there is three fields like id, name and message. I will insert form data using jQuery Ajax serialize method into this table. This is my simple page in which I have used Bootstrap CSS framework and jQuery JavaScript library. First I have write open and close form tag. I have write one attribute that is equal to submit form. After this I have defined one input type is equal to text with name is equal to name, it is equal to name and class is equal to form control. Here form control is a one CSS class of bootstrap. Second I have write open and close text area field. In this field I have write name attribute is equal to message it is equal to message and class is equal to form control. In form lastly I have write input type is button with name attribute is equal to submit it is equal to submit class is equal to b10 b10 info and value is equal to submit. Here b10 and b10 info is CSS class of bootstrap framework. Now friends I have write open and close division tag with id attribute is equal to response. In this division tag I will display error message or success message or inserted form data. Now friends I have moved the jQuery code part for write jQuery code I have write open and close script tag and between this script tag I have write dollar document dot ready method with one anonymous function. Friends I have write jQuery code on button click event, when user click on button then form data will insert into database, here I have used id selector, so I have write dollar with button is submit dot click event with one anonymous function. Under this function first I have defined one variable name, in this variable I will store value of text box with a name. After this I have again defined second variable message and in this variable I will store the value of text area field with a is equal to message. Now friends I want to check both HTML field has some value. For this I have write of statement with condition variable name double equal to blank and variable message double equal to blank. If suppose both variable is equal to blank then we will display error message into division tag with it is equal to response. For this I have write dollar division tag id response dot html method and under this method I have write open and close span tag and between span tag I have write all fields are required. I have defined class with name text danger to span tag, here text danger is a class of bootstrap. But suppose if both variable has some value then I have write ajax method, in this method first is a url, a string containing the url to which the request is sent. I have defined url is equal to insert.php. Second is which method you use, I have write post method. Third is data, data to be sent to the server. It is converted to a query string, if not already a string. Here I have used serialize method. It creates a URL encoded text string by serializing form values like input tag text area tag. For this I have write form with attributed is equal to submit form dot serialize method. Fourth is before send function. 
a pre-requested callback function that can be used to modify object before it is sent. In this function I want to display loading process before receiving data from server. For this I have write dollar division tag with it is equal to response.html method under this method I have write text like loading response under span tag with class text info. Here text info is CSS class of bootstrap. Now lastly is success function with data. This function to be called if the request succeeds. With help of this function we can receive data from server. After this function call that means our request succeeds, so form value must be removed from HTML tag. For this I have write dollar with form selector dot trigger method with reset. This will clear form after submitting. Now I have want to display data after form submitting for this I have write dollar with division tag with id response dot fade in method dot html method and under this method I write data which I have received from server. Now suppose friends I want to remove display data from web page after 5 seconds, so I have used set timeout method with anonymous function. Under this function I have write dollar with selector like division with id response dot fade out method slow. In this method second parameter is timing, I have defined 5000 millisecond which is equal to 5 second. Now friends ouch query code part is complete, now I have moved to PHP code part for insert data into database, so I have moved to insert.php page, on this page first I have make database connection, for making database connection I have write dollar connect is equal to miscly connect function with parameter like host is equal to locale host. Username is equal to root password is equal to blank and database name is equal to testing. After this I want to check Ajax method has send requested to this page. For checking this things I have use if statement with condition. In condition I have use set function with dollar post form data like name. With help of this code we can reduce injection error. Now friends I have defined two variable name and message, in name variable I have store value of form data like input type text with name is equal to name and in message variable I have store value of text area field with name is equal to message. Here I have used miscly real escape string function, this functional escapes special characters in a string for use in an SQL statement. There is two parameter first is database connection string and second is string. After this I want to make SQL query for insert data into table for this I have write variable query is equal to insert into table form with column name name and message with values dollar name and dollar message which I have defined above and under this variable I have store form data like name and message. Now friends I want to check data properly inserted or not, for checking this things I have write of statement with condition, in condition I have used miscly query function with parameter database connection string is equal to connect and second is SQL query which I have store in query variable. Friends suppose data successfully inserted into database and I want to display inserted data onto web page for display data onto web page, for this I have simple write echo statement with this text. Lastly friends first I have save page and check the output in browser.
friend's data are successfully inserted, you can also check in database also. So, friends thank you for watching this video on how to insert form data with the help of jQuery Ajax serialize method. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.